Hello, this is Pastor John, uh, joining you here at the beginning of a new work week and uh, looking forward to the possibilities that lie ahead that God is going to throw in my path and in your path. Whatever those are, my prayer is that he will use you to touch someone's life. And uh, I was reading through, just kind of considering some of the things that are going on today. I was going back to uh, Matthew 24 and the signs of the time of the end. And I thought, well, instead of reading Matthew 24, which is kind of the default passage that we often go to, I'm gonna go to Luke 21, which is a parallel passage. It's Luke's record of what Jesus said. And I came to verse 25, and of course, these are very, very uh, applicable verses for today. But let me read this for you and show you a little bit of the contrast of what's happening on this earth between those that don't follow God and those that are following God and that uh, trust that Jesus is coming back to take them home very soon. Um, Jesus says, and there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity. In other words, boy, what is going on? I just, I don't understand. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming upon the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Clearly the earth is thrown into perplexity. There's not really a lot of knowledge as what to do. And I'm seeing in this whole recent pandemic that there's not a lot of real answers. Um, you can't shut down the economy on a permanent basis because then that will collapse society. You can't uh, completely just let this run its course and let that curve, as we talked about at the very beginning, go up and run out of, you know, have it be so bad that we run out of hospital rooms and things like that to be able to treat COVID. And, so it's just a very perplexing thing, and we're kind of managing that right now and trying to get through it. But um, notice this, it says in verse 27, then they, interesting, Jesus talks about those who are in perplexity, then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. At some point in the midst of all this, wondering what to do, in the midst of um, the challenges and the fear and what's going on in society and the inability to be able to change and fix the problems that are going on, they're going to see Jesus come back with great power and glory. And then verse 28, notice this. He shifts back to his people, his followers. Now, when these things begin to happen, when these things begin to happen. I think right now, we're not in the throes of a time of trouble. That's, that's not coming yet, but the things like this are beginning to happen. So when they begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. And then of course, Jesus gets into uh, the parable of the fig tree. And he talks about, look at the fig tree and all the trees when they're already budding, you see and know yourselves that summer is now near. So you also, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass till all these things take place. This generation, this generation that's experiencing these things will not pass till all of them take place. Those are encouraging words to me. It means Jesus is coming soon, that my generation, your generation, this general generation to see all of the time of trouble and things will not pass until um, all of the things are fulfilled. And so we can take heart in this. We know that there is fear out there, but fear doesn't belong to us. Um, if you're fearful, don't be fearful. Decide today, I'm not gonna be fearful. I'm trusting Jesus to get me and to get my family and to get us through this. And he will do that. He will take that fear away. Perfect love, the love we have in our relationship with Jesus will cast out fear because we know that without a doubt, we are in his hands and there's nothing that can touch the salvation that we have in him. So remember that today. When fear creeps up, let it go. Talk to Jesus, spend your time with him, and let him keep you focused on looking up because your redemption draws near. God bless you. Have a terrific week.